Thank you. Um, in we've heard this morning uh, several times that you did take a polygraph, and that was on August the seventh. Is that right? I believe so. Is the day I was flying from BWI to Manchester, New Hampshire. Okay. Um, why did you decide to take a polygraph? Um, I didn't see any reason not to do it. Were you advised to do that? Again, you're, you're seeming to call for communications between counsel and client. I don't think you mean to do that. If you do, she shouldn't have to answer that. Could, would, counsel, uh, could you let her answer the extent to which she do, do, doesn't violate the, the relationship between you and Dr. Ford? Say what you wonder. Based on the advice of the council, I was happy to undergo the polygraph test, although I found it extremely stressful, much longer than I anticipated. I told my whole life story, I felt like, but I endured it. It was fine. I understand they can be that way. Um, have you ever taken any other polygraphs in your life? Never. Okay. Um, you went to see a gentleman by the name of Jeremiah Hannafin uh, to serve as the polygrapher. Did anyone advise you on that choice? Yes, I believe his name was Jerry. Uh, Jerry Hannafin. Yeah. Okay. Did anyone advise you on that choice? I don't understand that. Yeah, I didn't choose him myself. He was the uh, person that came to do the polygraph test. Okay. Um, he actually conducted the polygraph not in his office in Virginia, but actually at the hotel next to Baltimore, Washington Airport. Is that right? Correct. Why was that location chosen for the polygraph? I had left my grandmother's funeral at uh, Fort Lincoln Cemetery that day and was... Uh, on tight schedule to get a plane to Manchester, New Hampshire. So he was willing to come to me, which was appreciated. So he administered a polygraph on the day that you attended your grandmother's funeral? Yeah, correct. Okay. Or it might have been the next day. I spent the night in the hotel. So um, I don't remember the exact day. Have you ever had discussions with anyone uh, besides your attorneys on how to take a polygraph? Never. And I don't just mean countermeasures, but I mean just any sort of tips or anything like that. No, I was scared of the test itself, but was comfortable that I could tell the information and the test would reveal whatever it was going to reveal. I didn't expect it to be as long as it was going to be, so it was a little bit stressful. Had you, have you ever given tips or advice to somebody who was looking to take a polygraph test? Never. Okay. Did you pay for the polygraph yourself? I don't, I, don't, I don't think so. Okay. Do you know who did pay for the polygraph? Not yet, no. Did you have the handwritten statement um, that you wrote out? Did anyone assist you in writing that statement? No, but you can tell how anxious I was by the terrible handwriting. <laughs> um, did you, we, we touched on it earlier, did you know that the committee has requested? the not only the charts from the polygraph test but also any audio or video recording of the polygraph test no okay. were you audio and video recorded when you were taking that test okay so i remember being hooked up to a machine like be, being placed onto my body and uh being asked a lot of questions and crying a lot 
That's my primary memory of that test. I don't know. I know he took a uh, laborious detail into explaining what he was going to be doing, but I was just focused on kind of what I was going to say and my fear about that. I wasn't listening to every detail about the, what, whether it was audio or video recorded. Well, you were in a hotel room, right? Correct. Um, regular hotel room with a bed and bathroom? No, no, no. It was a conference room. So okay. I was sitting at a chair and he was behind me. Did you note any cameras in the room? Uh, well, he had a computer set up, so I guess I assumed that he was somehow taping and recording me. Okay, so you assumed you were being video and audio recorded? Correct. But you don't know for sure? I don't know for sure. Okay, thank you. Uh, we're going to uh, recess now for a half hour for lunch. Oh. Uh, thank you, Dr. Ford. Oh, we're going to keep going. Yeah.